Hi everyone, Kieran Oversapien here from Filmstorm Studios and today we're going to have a look at creating a third person character system inside Unity and Playmaker. And what I've done, if you follow the link in the, the description above, you'll see that you can go to our Gumroad and get our animation pack. Um, you can use pretty much any other animation pack but uh, with this one we'll be using ours. So we'll just grab the .unity package and just drag that in. And then we can close this window and it will just ask you to bring that in. So just click import. Okay, now we just want to drag in our Playmaker package and it's going to do the same import. So we just want to install that the same way. So click install, install, I've made a backup. And that's just going to go through and do that. Okay, so that's all done. So let's drag in that camera rotation.unity package and just click import. Excellent. So if you go to the asset store, you want to download uh, this free model. Uh, it's really, really nice to, to work with, but um, this is what we're going to use for this tutorial as well. So that's all been imported. So you see we have these directories now and inside here we've got our movement pack with all our um, different bits and pieces ready to go. So how are we going to create our third person system? Well, it's quite easy. Let's go and create a new plane. Let's come up to here and zero everything out. Now what we want to do is grab our knight, jump into here and you'll notice we've got a prefab. We've got the knight prefab. Let's jump in and grab him. And you'll see that he's rotated uh, at 180. So let's uh, maybe just zero him out. Excellent. And let's get the camera and we can delete that because we're going to go back to the assets, prefabs, and this is that imported camera system that we made. So just grab that and drag it in to the scene. Excellent. So now you can see if you jump to game, we've kind of got this set up already. And then basically this camera has been set up with um, pre-made FSMs just to save you a lot of time and, and work. So what we can do, jump to the camera. You'll notice we've got some scripts there. We don't, we don't need them. Let's just come and right mouse click and say remove. And in camera base, if we jump into camera follow, this is what actually follows the player. So what we want to do is jump to our knight, expand it, and we want to create an empty object and we want to call this camera follow. And we want to drag this up to around like his shoulders because that's where we want the camera to rotate around. So let's get this number, that Y number, 1.614. And let's come back to the camera base and we want to chuck that number in there so that that height is exactly the same. Now we can just get this camera follow and drag it into the that camera follow FSM. So make sure you click edit, click this state and then just drag this into here. And now we can start working on setting up the animations. So let's come to animator and you'll see that it's completely blank. So we want to right mouse click in the assets create a new animator controller and you want to call this movement. You'll click and you hit enter you'll see that um, this little exit thing appears and we want to come up to our parameters click new float we want to call it input x and we want to create another one called input z and I just want to check if we have these okay that's all good and we want to create or another one called uh, input magnitude excellent so now expand this unarmed movement inside the film storm action and I'm set and you'll see we have one called idle this one should be fine so let's just drag that out and that's gonna be our default node bring the entry node over here so if we click play right now you'll notice that he's just gonna chill we can actually rotate the camera around we will probably want to actually um, lower the camera but we'll handle that in a second and you'll see that he's rotating as well but we'll fix that up very good okay so now let's come into the animator again and into here you'll see 
that the controller is night, we actually want to make this the movement. Now, what we want to do is let's remove this rotator script. That's why he was rotating weird. And you can see that he'll just stay in the same place, which is very good. Okay, so we're back in the animator. And what we want to do is we actually just want to right mouse click on this idle and say create blend, blend tree because we're going to be doing a special um, way of moving. We're going to kind of be doing the GTA way of moving and we just want to do something simple. So let's call, instead of idle, let's call it movement and double click on it. And you'll see that we want to create two, two nodes and let's make it move from the input magnitude and let's make one idle and let's make the other a run forward. So you'll see if we press play, let's make the speed back to one. So you can see that he's just chilling. He's just idling right now. Now if we, pre if we move this forward, he's gonna run. Now, you can see we also have a walk forward. So let's make another node and let's drag it in between and let's make this walk forward. Okay, now let's press play and you'll see if we bring it into the middle now, he's gonna run and then he's gonna walk. So we've basically created a really simple blend tree where he's blending between different move states. Okay, so now we need to connect this into the gameplay. So let's come back to Night Prefab and let's expand this out and let's call this movement. Now, we want to call some different things. We also we want to say get axis and we want to get axis vector. So you want to click we want two axes and we want one vector. So we want to make it relative to the main camera. We want to store a thing called input vector. We want to store something called the input magnitude. We want to get an axis called horizontal, which is our left and right movement. And we want to store this into something called input X. And we want to get another one called vertical and store this into input Z, which is basically our up and down movement or like forward and backward. Now we need to actually send this to our um, game system. So we want to say set animator flow. We want three of those. Okay, so now that you can see we have these three, let's make this parameter input magnitude. You want to make sure it's spelt the same way. We want to make that value link into input magnitude every frame. We want to make this one input x and we want to link this into the input x every frame and we want to make this input z and we want to make this link into input z every frame. So if we click play, uh, let's just split this view. If we click play and I push forward, you'll see that these numbers are going up. So pushing back goes negative, pushing up it goes positive, left, negative and positive. So that's excellent. So we want to call this idle and we want to copy, right mouse click, and we want to then paste it and say no, because we want the start state to stay there. And we want to call this one moving. Now let's jump to events and we want to say this one is to idle. And we want to call this one to moving. Now let's right mouse click on this and say to moving and to idle, whack them together. Excellent, now come back to Action Browser and we wanna say uh, compare float, float compare. And we wanna compare the input magnitude to greater than 0 0.1. And if it is greater than 0 0.1, we're gonna to go to the moving every frame. And we wanna copy this, paste it into moving. And we wanna say, hey, if this is less than 0 0.1, we're gonna go back to idle. So if I press play now, you'll see that when I push forward, 
it's going to go there. When I release, it's going to go back to idle. So that's perfect. So now what we want to do, you'll notice in here, he's running forward and he's not really going in any other direction. So when he's moving, we actually want him to look um, in the direction that we're pressing. So in the moving FSM, in this little state here, we want to go to Action Browser and say Smooth Look At Direction. Okay, and we've just added the Smooth Look At Direction. And it's really simple because, because we've made uh, this input vector, we can just say we want the target direction to be the input vector. We want the speed, let's make the speed about 10. And I think that's that's pretty much it. Oh, and this up vector, we want that to just stay as um, one for the Y, because it's basically facing up. So if we press play now, and we move around, you'll see that we can basically move, we can run away from the camera, and we can do all that. So that's really nice. And because if you use it with a controller as well, you'll notice um, if you just push the stick forward a little bit, he'll go into the, the walk um, state. So that's that's another nice little touch. Now, how do we fix that camera? Say you wanted a more over the shoulder look. So let's um, grab this. You'll see it's quite high even when we're out of the game. So let's jump back into here. Let's grab the camera. And you can see that because we have this um, view split, we can actually position it right how we want it. So let's just click play. And there you go. You'll notice we have the third person system set up very nicely. Um, now, what other things can we improve on? Okay, so you'll notice if we run off here, he's going to just stay there. How do we make sure he falls down in different spots um, when he can? So let's say we grab this plane. Let's actually create a cube. Let's come in zero it out and let's just scale it up a whole lot and let's drop it onto his feet now let's duplicate it control d and let's make another one here okay so now let's say if we press play we're actually move forward okay he should drop down right okay so let's click on night prefab add component uh, character controller You'll see here we have this little um, capsule. We want to drag the Y up so it's just, let's scroll that back out. Let's make it just above his feet there. So you can see that's perfect. Let's just bring in the radius a little bit. Click play. And there you go. So you can see that he dropped down nice. Let's play that one more time. Excellent. And then you can actually make a thing to say, hey, um, if he's grounded, then we'll go into a falling animation. But considering this is a simple um, demo, we don't want to go that far into it. So this is how you created a third person system tutorial. Um, that's relatively simple, nothing too crazy. We haven't really done any um, animations apart from just the idling run. Um, but it's going to get you pretty much where you want to go. So thanks for watching and I hope you tune into another tutorial. Thanks.